When Avinash Chandra left New Delhi for London in the mid-1950s, he was a celebrated landscape artist, awarded by the Lalit Kala Academy, collected by the National Gallery of Modern Art. In London, his work started to change. Initially, of course, he kept to the style of, uh, or the genre of landscape painting, but the landscape itself started changing. It started becoming more bulbous. It was within those circular forms that the city found some kind of an imaginative uh, capture. And from that point on, he started being fascinated by what emerged eventually as the human body in his work. The initial foray into painting uh, human beings, and this was his first attempt to create figurative works of art, was parts of the human body itself. Eventually, as he moved further and with greater confidence in terms of working only with the nude form, what he would do is take a huge scroll of paper, as in this instance, and line it up against a wall, sometimes letting it turn around the right angle of another wall if it was long enough. And then he would position a live model at one end and he would paint the live model as in this continuous scroll where you see many, many renditions of the same human body done, caverting, playful, joyful, in various moods, in various nuances, in various manners of capturing the silhouette. He sees the front part very confidently, but you see the side, you see the back, there's a playful nature, an element of a great sense of joy that he brought in into this capture of what we call humanscapes. If you look at it, he's used the same single tone for this extensive work. All that he has at his command is his pen and his inks. He's been able to create an evocative mood not only are the figures full, you'll see that he's filled up the void in many of these areas with just limbs or parts of bodies. So you'll see torso in some portion, you'll see just the lower limbs in the other parts, you'll see the genitals explored with and created in a fairly dynamic, creative manner in a process which in the 60s would have shocked many, many of his viewers.